I'm Wendy Santis at LinkedIn, and my talk today is about tiger moms, ninjas, and chips, discovering stories in the data, and hopefully by the end of it, this is going to all make sense. So it all started about a year ago, when there was this big controversy about tiger moms and parenting styles and what's better for kids. And being the data geek that I am, my first instinct was, let's look at the data. But what kind of data do we have? On LinkedIn, uh, we have people's profiles with last names and their job titles and where they're from. So what this means is that we can put this on the map and build a classifier or sprinkle some machine learning and find out for each name what is the likely origin of each last name. So now we can take that back to the United States and do some more data mining and find out what, look at, the, at people's profile and their last name and figure out what are the overrepresented job titles or words in the job title for those name origins. If you do this, it turns out that the Tiger Cubs do value scholastic achievement <laughs> and academia, um, but they're not the only ones. You can do this for pretty much any country, so I did it for Eastern European names, and they're, they look pretty similar. And you can contrast this with Western European names, <laughs> who seem to be optimizing for a slightly different metric. So what else is on LinkedIn? Well, we have career histories of 120 million people. And this kind of thing allows you to ask questions like, yeah, what are the related regions? What are the hottest industries? Um, what are the fastest growing job titles in a given year? So you can look at 1999 and see the tech boom. And you can see the corresponding tech bust when everybody went back to grad school. And now you can see the rise in social media and, of course, data scientists. All of that in the LinkedIn data. You can see things like ninjas in people's job titles taking off and gurus kind of not being so popular. Um, all of this is very interesting and it's all coming from the aggregate LinkedIn data. But how do you do that? Well, there's three simple ingredients. Aggregate, normalize, and dig. Aggregate your data. What do I mean by that? Um, well, let's consider an example. Let's look at when do people get promoted? When do people get a promotion during the year? You can aggregate that data um, by, let's say, country and month, and then detect patterns like rediscovering India's fiscal year in April. Then the second step was to normalize. Look for your denominator. There's always a denominator, right? So in this example, to see the change, we looked at the relative change and spotted a trend of promotions going down in the 90s versus the 2000s. Then you have to ask why. Dig a little deeper. So when we separated out the promotions by date of birth, we, we saw that the millennials don't want to wait for January. They want their promotion all the way throughout the year. So all of this is, again, very interesting data. But let's take a, let's take a look at another example. Top CEO names on LinkedIn. Peter, Bob, Jack. At first you might say, well, this is just popular baby names in the 50s. And that's true, but that's not the real story. The real story is if you, look, if you look at the distribution of the length of those names, and you see sales being you know, four letter word, a chip, Todd and Trey, your quintessential you know, sales guy, and the CEOs are uh, equally, you know, equally short. It's a different distribution, not as cute. But um, they want to be a friend. They want to be perceived as out outgoing, right? So, um, the press loved it, right? So the question is, how do you communicate this kind of information? Infographic, infographics are a good start, but the story itself has to be interesting, so people are interested in, accessible to a wider audience, and relatable. Howard Stern covered this because one of the CEO names was Howard. So <laughs> we all love data, we want more of it. That's my license plate. Uh, <laughs> But raw data isn't enough. Uh, what we want to do is aggregate, normalize, and dig to look for the real story. So all, I'm sure all of you have really interesting data stories. Please share them with us.